everybody and welcome to another installation of to read or not to read from the rapid city public library so we've all had a lot of jokes happening about did you have murder hornets on your 2020 bingo card or i survived 2020 but all joking aside way before 2020 i've always been kind of obsessed with different tales of survival and if you're like me you've read about everest you've read about In the Heart of the Sea. We have so many other books in our collection that will keep you awake at night, turning page after page to find out what happened next. I'm gonna start out with Skeletons on the Sahara by Dean Smith. And this one is kind of a more traditional story of survival, right? You have a trade caravan in the 1800s that starts out on a ship, but there's a storm at sea and the whole ship is sort of blown off course, shipwrecked of course, and lands in the desert which nobody is familiar with. Enter desert nomads, enter being sold into slavery, enter plagues of locusts, all the things you would expect from a desert survival story, and a couple you wouldn't, like a friendship that grows between an American sea captain and a Muslim trader. There are all sorts of different reasons for people to be in weird places where disaster strikes and survival has to happen. In the Kingdom of Ice by Hampton Sides, in the late 1800s, there was sort of an exploration craze, and the owner of the New York Herald, who had supplied money for the Dr. Livingston, I presume, expedition, decided he wanted to top his last expedition. And where else but in the Arctic? Their ship ends up being completely trapped in the ice, and they have to depart the ship before it sinks to the bottom of the Arctic Ocean leaving them stranded with very few supplies in Siberia. Hampton Sides is a fantastic author, and you'll be finished with this before you even realize you were halfway through. Don't be off-put by this very small sort of paperback kind of sketchy looking book. This is Contiki by Hor Heyerdahl, hope I pronounced that correctly, and his purpose in setting off to explore and enduring an almost mythical journey uh, is because they believed that scientists had it wrong. The way that scientists and historians had thought that um, immigration happened in the Polynesian islands um, was set in stone. It was one way. And this particular person and his crew set out to show that it could be done another way and sort of turn science on its head not once, not twice, but three separate times. So this is a really interesting book if you like survivalism, nautical adventures, um, and also uh, a little bit of a, I'm gonna prove you wrong. And those are just three of the several books and movies that we have available at the Rapid City Public Library. So thanks for joining me in this edition of To Read or Not To Read. Hope to see you back next week.